San Francisco rolling out a new tool to help crack down on crime. Hundreds of automated license plate readers rolling out across the city. Now, this comes just after voters gave the police department more flexibility in how it responds to crime. NBC Bears Gia Vang is in San Francisco with how this new tech works and the concern about the future of policing in the city. You'll soon begin to see these license plate reader cameras at 100 intersections across San Francisco, all to help combat retail and car thefts and other crime. In terms of being able to, being able to apprehend and deter crime in the city. And I think some of uh, what we're doing with the, the camera um, technology in the city is going to put us in a good place because many cities around us have that technology and we didn't. Cities like Piedmont. Chief Jeremy Bowers says his department has been using them since 2013. He says license plate readers are tied to state databases that track wanted or stolen vehicles. Chief Bowers says the way they use it, the information comes into the dispatch center live. After the dispatcher uh, confirms that information, that information, and this is a seamless uh, uh, thing that happens here in Piedmont, informs the officers of the location, the direction of travel, and, and again, some uh, unique features of the car. You know. Officers could give chase, something SF Police Commission Vice President Max Carter Overstone asked Chief Scott now that voters passed Prop E, which among other things, expands the circumstances in which police officers can chase suspects by car. Are you at all concerned about um, potentially increasing our already high collision and injury rates? What we have to be committed to to address that is make sure that there is management of those pursuits, supervisory and officers that are always evaluating the, the crime that was committed that caused that pursuit to be initiated with the risks. In Vallejo, police there have used license plate readers since 2020. Data release show a record 197 chases last year with more than 20% of the time ending in crashes and sometimes injury. The department cited the use of license plate readers as the most notable reason for the spike. The Electronic Frontier Foundation has another worry about them. Anytime this type of tool is adopted, there are a lot of privacy concerns and civil liberties concerns that come along with it because picture of a person's life that can be sketched through the location of their vehicles is actually very detailed. The city promises these cameras won't use any facial recognition. It expects them to be up and running within the next three months. In San Francisco, Gia Vang, NBC Bay Area News.